Okay, so welcome to the optometrystudents.com Dr. McGovern interview on residencies. This is just an excerpt from the interview uh, regarding kind of where optometry came from. It's really a brief, quick, five-minute history about the profession. It may include a lot of information that you never even knew. So it's really cool, and I hope everyone enjoys it. I think it's important just it, from a historical context to, to just talk about where our profession, you know, very, very quickly. I'm going to miss a lot of it, but just, you know, okay. students coming out now really don't have a good feel for what optometry was and how new it is and how young it is among professions. So, um, you know, because medicine basically started like in the 1700s, they were giving out MD degrees. So, you know, mm -hmm. MDs basically have over 300 years more history than we do. So, you know, so optometrists really, really started with eyeglasses. And that's where, when you talk about the jewelers doing, you know, optometry and jeweler shops, um, that's where we started. And, you know, and, and the first eyeglasses in this country were basically made in 1811. So we're talking relatively, you know, only a couple hundred years ago. Um, as far as optometry as an organized profession, um, you know, the AOA started only in 1898. And we started as the American Association of Opticians, and then in 1910 it was renamed the American Optical Association, and then in 1919 it was finally noted as the American Optometric Association. Mm -hmm. um, and that was in 1898 we basically started, and shortly thereafter there were laws governing optometry. So the first laws started that um, basically affected the licensure of optometrists were in 1901. And then by 1924, all states had licensure on the books for optometry. And again, this is compared to medicine, which started in the 1700s, and dentistry, which was in like the 1860s. So as far as on the timeline, optometry is pretty new. You know, the schools of optometry just started in the first school of optometry in this country was in Illinois in 1872, and then NECO was in 1894. And now we're up to 20 schools, I think, of optometry are currently accredited by the ACOE. Mm -hmm. So, um, and, you know, and a big, big thing that um, really changed our profession was um, there was a guy named Morris Steinfeld, who was an optometrist, and he lived in Kentucky. And somewhere around 1921, 22, he had this big meeting with seven of his friends, and the, the, they were all optometrists. And the big question was, is optometry basically a business or a profession? And they had this <laughs> full meeting, and at the end of the day, they decided that it should be a profession and not a business. And after that meeting, the American Academy of Optometry was formed. So that was, we're only talking 1922. And it, basically the purpose of the American Academy of Optometry is to transform optometry to profession with a scientific base. So that really was a big, big changing point in our profession um, that changed us from an eyeglass business type of a thing to a, a profession based on science. And, you know, 1922 in the big picture of our country is not too long ago. So, um, you know, so once you started with that, that opened the door and you start to have optometry evolving as a profession. And it was in 1960s when the residency started. So um, SUNY College of Optometry was actually the first optometry school in the country to have a post-OD program. And they were, it was in the vision therapy department, and they were basically three-month um, advanced training courses where you got a certificate at the end of it. Mm -hmm. And that was the beginning of residency education. Um, the actual first formal residency that was accredited was in 1976 at the Kansas City um, VA. So, again, you're talking 1976 is 30-some-odd years ago. So that yes. was how new residency education is. Even therapeutics, the first DPA laws where we got diagnostics was in 1971, and yes. the first therapeutics for optometrists were in 1976 also. So, you know, so we've only been prescribing drugs for 30 years. So, no you know, so when we're talking about the amount of locations that can absorb residents, this is one of the issues is that the profession is so new and so dynamic and changing with time. Well, that's, that's a very interesting history. I'm glad you shared it because a lot of students really don't know, you know, the history behind the profession. Um, you know, I know we heard it at SUNY like once, but it's really important to understand where we came from. And, you know, later on in the interview, I definitely want to ask you where, where do you think we're going and why it's important for students to get involved. But um, you know, thanks for sharing that.